you know i may look like a minion or a gold miner with this thing on my head but hey man it's about getting the best footage what is good what is good all my real ones welcome back to another it gets real adventure now today we'll be trying to find out what is the best gopro mound for fishing the chesty which is the chest mount or would it be the head strap these are the two most popular mounts that i see fishermen use let's start with the chesty first off I'm gonna put this thing on all right all right now we got this thing on and comfortability i mean it's elastic has elastic straps i got these all the way stressed stretched out it doesn't restrict your arm movement or anything but it's a little it's a little uncomfortable i don't really like the way it feels on my chest um ladies i could somewhat now sympathize with you so i hear bras are uncomfortable and uh, this kind of maybe feels like that um let's see pros hands free and you can always see what your gopro is doing at all times but if you have a fish on the ground and you're trying to unhook them and you want to point this down like so or view that then you lose your hands so i'd say that's that's con number one uh pro is that you could turn this on and you have a visual of what you're trying to pick up and record with this right here now another con is if you're not using your hands and you're bending down crouching it might just get your it might get your legs you might be face down to the ground now see this is what i'm talking about i'm kneeling down to pick something off the ground and all you guys got a shot of was my thigh and also turning now you have to turn your whole body to look at something behind you trying to get a full spectrum of everything requires a lot of twisting turning uh, up. all right yeah, thank you for Ooh, sure yeah right that was a, a little bite right there yeah, I so, huh? see as i was trying to look at that gentleman talking to me i had my body turn my head could turn more than what my body could turn so at times when i'm trying to get him i'm standing sideways i gotta twist and contort my body in ways that it doesn't so that's one of those cons i was talking about and i was mentioning so far as turning and trying to get that shot and if i had my head strap on my head can rotate and turn and you know i could actually look at the person or the object that i'm looking at so so far as getting that perfect shot that you want i'd say maybe that's a con with the with the chesty this will not restrict you from casting any kind of arm movement it's just kind of uncomfortable but there is some aftermarket chesties that don't have this pad that I've seen. I haven't tried it on, but maybe those are more comfortable. If you guys know, feel free to leave it in the comments. And oh my gosh, there is a goldfish. A goldfish right there. And he was a fat one too. Okay, we got him, we got him. We got him. We got him, y'all. Oh, big boy. Got that boy. Ooh, this is a nice one, too. This is a fatty bluegill. Look at that, yo. Yeah. And now I gotta take this off my my chest. Gotta get it off my chest. See. 
Now this is all the struggles I got to do. And go through. Ugh. Show y'all, we got one, man. We got one on the chesty. Woo. Okay, hat going to the back. GoPro going to the head mount. I wear my hat to the back when I'm using the head strap just so the bill is not in the way i know they have other head mount hats as well but the bill could get in the way and that brings me to the first con of using the head strap now it's comfortable it's comfortable but getting that right shot you have to have the right tilt so say if you were wearing this hat the other way around, you have to have this adjusted at the right tilt so you don't get that bill in your video while you're recording. So that's why it's always hat to the back with me. So that bill is there, that eliminates that. Uh, a good pro about the head strap is that you get more of a view. Another con about the chesty is when you have the GoPro on it, really you just get the chest all you get is that view from the chest from up here so when you're reeling you'll see just your hands like i said when you bend down to get something you might just see your knees i may look like a minion or a gold miner with this thing on my head but hey man it's about getting the best footage you are able to look here there i think the mobility is good with the head strap but i just like the vantage point from up higher I think you cover a lot more ground with this up here opposed to this right here another pro about the head strap is when i want to take the gopro off and face you guys for a minute i can do that with ease no problem at all just take it off talk to the camera show you what i'm what i have behind me that's very easy with this with the chesty I mean, yes, you can reach it out here, there, but you would have to take this off to point that GoPro to you or unscrew it and then face the GoPro to you. To do this is a lot quicker. I don't have to unscrew anything. When you're out there fishing, you don't wanna miss those moments. Everything is boom, 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 happening so fast that you don't wanna spend time unscrewing tinkering or taking this whole thing off and then trying to say what's up boom we in action we are in action now here you guys will get the up top view oh and that quick oh i'm about to say that's how y'all gonna do with the head mount y'all just gonna act up huh look at it he going Ooh, is that all it took to get action like this? Throw on the head mount? Man, that's insane. It's getting crazy action right now. Did they already take my worm? They took it, they strip it. Thing might be gone now. That worm might be long gone. Nope. Ooh, ooh, we, yo, big dog, another big dog. Ooh, ooh, we. He vicious. He vicious. He vicious. Look at him. Okay, okay. Yeah. Blue gear on the head mount, y'all. Yes, sir. -da 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 -da. The only con about this to me is that you never really know what angle you have. So this could be too high, too low. That That takes some adjusting and since it ain't right in front of your face, you know, you just kind of got to know angles. You got a lot of smacktivities going on, man. 
lot of smacktivities going on right now. Oh, there goes that goldfish, y'all. I, I would love to catch that. Oh, he said, later. Come on. Take it. Ooh, that boy try to take drag too. Ooh. He going yay yay. He going yay yay. Took a little drag with him. Oh, look at the pattern on this bluegill. That's fire. That's nice. He even got little teeth on him. I didn't know the bluegills got little teeth. What? I know which one was my favorite. The head mount. It's the head mount for me. Let me know in the comments what y'all decision was. And if you like the content you just seen, go on and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't ever miss another episode of It Gets Real. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at It Gets Real Fishing for the latest and greatest and to stay updated. Yep, but last but not least, you guys can go to itgetsreal.com and purchase some of the merch you see see the snapback you see the shirt rather be fishing this is actually the song title of my latest track rather be fishing you can go on and look that up on all digital platforms and while you're at it you can go check out itgetsreal.com for the freshest fishing apparel for real anglers mission accomplished the mosquitoes is out so i'm out but till the next one, y'all be cool, y'all be blessed, peace.